El versus Evil. On their journey's end, our heroes arrived at the pit where the monsters came from. It was a pit so deep that it could have very well had led to the underworld itself. So the gang climbed down and advanced to where the heart of the evil was. Sepan then noticed, This place might be where the evil in your dream came from, Lady Konoma. Yes, indeed, you're right, my giant friend. Then suddenly, a barrier separated the two, the groups in two. Anthony, Leona, and Kimona on one side, and Med, Ma, and Sepon on the other side. Then two beings of evil appeared before them and said in unison, Unwelcome guests, welcome. We have waited for a chance to test our might against the light. Now you all will Feel darkness's might. What nonsense is this? said Meryl. And then suddenly, the two beings started to attack. Then Lord Sam appeared in front of the normal group and they started to fight. Next, Troublemaker and Meryl's group clashed on their side. Troublemaker lived up to his name as he was a trouble to fight. Trouble would summon dark orbs to hit himself and then go underground. Then he would pop up, pop back up out of nowhere where the attack, nowhere an attack at random. If I was enough, he would then surround his foes in darkness and become one with it. Then his face would appear on top of him laughing and sharp blades of darkness would rain down upon El and his friends. El and his friends dodged quickly, adopted, adapted their foe's tricks to get the upper hand. Trouble was pissed but he was being pushed back and so he began to attack them with more intensity. Mirakama healed Sipon and Merel when they got hurt by Troublemaker. As Kimono and the others, they overcame the evil Tigeron and managed to beat him. Impossible. Sorry, boss, said Sam as he was knocked out after. What? How? said Troublemaker. When Merel took the chance and got a direct blow to Troublemaker, which knocked him out of his darkness and onto the ground. El then looked down and pointed his blade towards Trouble and said, It's over you fiend, surrender. Ha! He replied as he got back up. I waited for this moment to find a rival like you, El. How do you know my name? Trouble transcends time now witness as my arms are opened and I give birth to my finest work of art yet then the earth shook and a mighty blast pushed our heroes upward to the surface Kimono felt the heart of the blast and landed hard on the surface greatly injured El panicked and told Star told Starkey to Get out to safety now! Then they f- left, and El, Ma, and Punt remained to face the evil that was in front of them. Then Jomnika proclaimed on top of a mighty demonic being floating in the sky. Witness, Merel, the first step towards my path of full darkness. I give to you. The end times, dragon. <laughs> the end times dragon was a serpent-like dragon, clouded in utter darkness. Its fangs and claws were sharper than the sun, 
and its roar could be heard across the planets. What the hell is that, Hell? said Merkel. Merkel. Hell replied angrily, I don't know, but that thing hurt Kimono. And with my sword, I shall slay it. The three men then raced on top of the dragon toward where Troublemaker was. They were impeded by little demons who popped out of nowhere. As, as the men fought off these imps, the dragon took flight and started to attack the countryside. We must stop this beast before it kills people, said Sepan. Mera agreed and started to pray to the one true God. Mad El wasn't too spiritual growing up, but this spell made him realize that he needed God more than ever. Then Mad was blessed by God with elder powers, and he then moved past the demons more quickly than he would, than he would otherwise. Trouble then saw that Mad El had become a warrior of God. He was in fact, the very first mortal elder. Trouble in a, in a bind, then summoned a sword of his own to protect his asset. Mad and Trouble clashed their blades on the head of the dragon as it moved across the sky. I shall end you and this beast from hell, here and now. Have patience, my foe. I have all the time I need. It's not yet time, but that epic battle. At that moment, El remembered the dream Kimono had and knew who the evil was. This only pushed his resolve, resolve more as El then slashed Troublemaker in the chest, knocking him down. Lastly, El then stabbed the head of End Times Dragon in his skull and let out a blast which grounded the beast. Then the beast and all the demons were gone. Trouble then had the dragon's egg in hand and said, it's too soon for my ones for mine such as you to end my work of art. I'll hit the egg in the dragon emperor of another time, where I shall be even more stronger. Then he threw the egg in the bottle, and both he and Nut Sam went through another. Man El vowed to hunt down the end times dragon and this so called dragon emperor and stop troublemakers' plans.